F-E-A-R, fear. This is a thing that seems to hold a lot of business owners back from doing the things that they want to do. My question to you is, does fear really exist? Or is it something that you introduce at a point in time where something looks a little complicated or a little bit difficult? You can't buy a cup of fear. You can't pour a cup of fear. Fear is something that we bring to a particular situation. It doesn't exist until we actually bring it there. And with an action coach, we use fear, we use the four letters, and we say it stands for a false expectation appearing real. Now, what does that mean in reality? Well, it's a false expectation appearing real. It's something that we hold or believe to be true, but actually when we test it, it may not be. So two of the things I talk about when I'm working with business owners, I take them back to 1953. And up until that point, it was widely believed across the whole of the world that it was impossible to conquer Mount Everest. There was a big fear that it became impossible because people were dying trying to do that. But it was a false expectation appearing real because in 1953, it was done. Sherpa Tensing and Captain Hillary made it to the top. Subsequent to that, hundreds of people have now conquered Mount Everest. It was a false expectation appearing real that we couldn't get to the top of the biggest mountain in the world. Strangely, in the same year, Sir Roger Bannister ran the first mile in less than four minutes, the first sub four minute mile. Up to that point, people believed it was impossible. Again, a false expectation appearing real. Bring it to the modern day, if you like, and look at Usain Bolt, and people said it was impossible. It was impossible to run 100 metres in less than 9.5 seconds. Again, a false expectation appearing real, because until someone's done it, that's what we believe and hold to be true. So actually, in places in work and situations at work, we hold ourselves back by believing these things are not possible. But my question to you is, is that just a false expectation appearing real? Richard Branson, Richard Branson runs four £1 billion companies. Did we ever think that was possible, that someone can actually run four £1 billion companies? Well, yes, they can. Could he run five? We don't know. But actually, if someone said, well, it's impossible to run four £1 billion companies, false expectation appearing real. So just think about that in your workplace and in your business. And as the owner of the business and trying to push yourself forward, and if I challenge you this year, if hypothetically you've got a business that's turning over half a million pounds, and I said to you next year, okay, so we'll do a million pound next year. Most people, most business owners' first response to that is, that's just too difficult, I can't do that. Hmm, really interesting response. Because actually, it's a fear that that's just a step too far. My challenge to you is, is it a step too far or are you introducing something that doesn't exist? Because actually, it's a little bit scary. Well, just step back, think about it. Is that a false expectation appearing real or is actually that something that you can do with your organisation? Because actually, what we find when we work with business owners, that when you actually start to set some really stringent targets and goals and plans, lots of things are achievable. We reduce this, we try to eliminate it. What are you doing in your business? See you on the next clip.